Hi guys. So today I'm going to do something different. My mother, the lady of the house, is not around. She went to fetch some fire as well as the girls. So you're going to see them in the video. So what I'm going to do today is a bit different. I'm going to show you a house, a quick house tour of the house just after this. So I'm going to make these guys. These are my favorite creatures. I love them too. I'm going to make them some rice. Stay tuned as well. I'm going to make them an uh, outdoor dining. You're going to see that in, the, in this video as well. What else are we going to do? And cleaning, of course. So I'm going to show you the before and after. Please stay tuned and watch this video. going to improvise with what we, she has okay guys show you a quick tour of the house so let's see the before and we are going to see how the after will look like so this is like their sitting area so this is a bit dark here is a bit dark but let me just add some light so here is where they cook and at times they sleep. Munalala wapi? Oh, so here is where they cook. You see how that this place is? I'm going to work on this guys. We'll start with the cooking area, then cleaning of course. So here is where they sleep. They sleep here. As you can see, some kids are already sleeping. Here is where they are sleeping. So guys, we can't change everything at once, but we shall try. I hope you are going to watch this video until the end and see what we can do today. Guys, she is thirsty after fetching water. I know, sorry, the firewood. So she wants to take some water and then we shall get back to work. So, Oh. 
한번 봐서 한번 봐서 하나 한번 꽃을 누워 안에 
So guys, what we are doing here is just trying to make a, an outdoor kitchen where she can cook at least free, freely without suffocating. I don't know if you guys have seen in most of my videos, these people cook inside the house, which is not healthy, both for the kids and the mother. So I told her, let us just do it outside. 
she has to see the experience then she'll be doing this with time we might build her a kitchen but for now let us just do with whatever she has <laughs> Yeah, as you can see guys, that is our outdoor kitchen. This is where she stays. I don't see any neighbors here. Just from a distance, I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom. That's her first neighbor. The rest are very far from her. Everyone lives far from each other. I can call this a wilderness village. This is where she stores her firewood. So she's trying to get some so that we start our cooking. So we are preparing our knife to slaughter the duck. So alone we are adding some for our outdoor dining the ones that we got are not enough What a family? Huh? Yeah, be it. Guys, I just followed him here. I thought he wanted to get something. So it seems that he doesn't want to get anything. Maybe he's trying to help himself. So is preparing to Korea to cook the tea. Now we will not find any. Oh, the boy is going to get some maize. Oh yeah, guys. So this boy is going to get some maize flour. Ah, sorry, maize corn from the shamba. <laughs> he lied to me. Actually, he didn't even tell me anything. I thought he went to help himself, but. In this sense, you want to get this. See, you turn the back. Choma, you don't even know. Choma. Choma. This is how they do it. They love it. That's why I always say that these people don't like to be changed. They enjoy their lifestyle, guys. You can't change anybody's life. But you can just give them ideas on what to do. Actually perfecting their lifestyle. You see guys, these young kids are also eating the same corn. Mumu to akwa shamba? Kwa hii shamba eno? Oh, okay. They got it from their shamba. Let me show you the maize shamba. Maize farm, sorry. Shamba is a kisaili word. Anataka pia ye? Tuna tuchukue kwa shamba. Tuende baba. Kama iko mdani tabara. Fulo. Kama uwe mimi saa baada ya mlima. Yes, I want some. Tuende tuende tuchukue kwa shamba. So he shared with him. So acha tuende tuchukue moja kwa shamba. Shamba is farm guys, maize farm. Is a shamba ya mahindi. So we are going to the maize farm. very relaxing whenever I come here I feel so interesting as much as I know I am here to bring you videos but I do relax as well 
there is a lot of fresh air here it's very peaceful so this is the maize farm Nimpaka oh. wende chini so the young kid wanted some so we are here to get him another one guys are maize farmers so they farm maize when they harvest they store them and eat them they don't sell them they eat them guys this is their staple food that's why i told you they have never eaten rice actually they have never even seen rice here can you even see any sugar? No, they don't they have never even gone to town areas here is where they have brought up they eat that here they just stay here, they live here, they eat maize as their breakfast, their lunch and something, their dinner. Actually they eat uh, one time a day, one time a day. They told me that they don't have breakfast routine, lunch routine and dinner routine and they are okay with that. So that's why you guys see the kids eating maize now. now when they normally cook their lunch at 3 or 3, around 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Just get something at times they even eat rat they told me that they enjoy eating rat they just get it from their farm that's why you see in most of my videos some kids eating rat uh, they do barbecue rat i don't know why you guys are like oh these guys are eating dirty things yes they do but they enjoy it and you can't change that i can't really tell them to stop eating rat so yeah that's my their snacks they do that like a bar barbecue thing and then yeah this is their food that is why guys i just decided to surprise them with rice i don't know how their lunch is going to be rice with um, duck stew i brought some stuff i didn't show you but i'm going to show you in a few as well so the food stuff that is let's cook that see their re reaction as they relax in their outdoor that's the family guys they're just waiting for their lunch to get ready and i'm waiting for their lunch and after that they are going to take shower at least we are, we are going to see their water source now the boy is okay he got his maize maize corn Guys, our dining area is almost ready.
Je vous Je Guys, let me show you how this water looks like. The booth that I imagine. We just fetch this water. This is the water that we just brought. You see, it's not that clean. And he drinks it. I don't know where the government officials are. She can kuja to share. Kuja baba. Come. Let's share this. Kata nusu. Kata nusu na mimi nipate nusu. Sawa. Shika hii. Acha tukule nusu, sawa? Haya kata. Kula alafu nibakishie, sawa? Acha acha kule mimi niko sawa. Kula kula baba hapana hapana. No, no, usifanye hivyo. Haya kula kula tu. Haina shida. Ini chafu, sawa? Haya shika kula kula baba. Haya. Haya ina juice. Oh, just saw ina juice hiyo. Hey, 
Guys, I forgot to mention this. This is their food. This is their breakfast, their supper, their lunch. This is what they feed on. I don't know if you've noticed throughout the video these kids were just eating this. This is what they eat. So today they're just so happy that there is some food for them. So as you can see this kid, almost throughout the video he was just going to the shamba, the farm. Get as you can see, this boy was just going to the shamba, getting this nice corn and eating it. So this is like their food. I don't know when was the last time they had their food. So let's see their reaction when they start eating at least rice with some back stew. But then this looks delicious. So they don't have borehole, they don't have tap water. This is the water they used to drink. They drink this water, they wash utensils. With this water, they wash their clothes 
using this water. Their body as well, yeah, they take bath using this water. You see guys, this water is not that clean. I don't know where the government officials are that these guys, these people are suffering here alone and no one is aware of them. So.